guys real quick video update of the k24 civic finally our oil pump kit is in which is right in that box and um got the engine on the engine stand uh using the engine hoist just makes it a little bit more simple i did already have a set of these but i haven't worked on the engine in so long that they were old and rusty so i figured i'd just get a brand new set uh, just to kind of start off fresh um, Show you guys real quick So here's all our uh, Oil pump kit stuff we're gonna need I try to buy most of my parts from Honda as you guys can see right here These are some of the part numbers of some of the parts you'll need, but I'll go individually Here's what my dealership was asking and they matched the online prices. So um, I just sent them an um, invoice of the online uh, Honda website and they pretty much uh, match the price. And the reason why I do that is because I like to get my parts directly from the dealership. Uh, there are a lot of fake parts being sold. So you guys want to try to stay away from uh, using aftermarket parts. Even though they're being sold to you as OEM and you're paying top dollar because I have seen it happen. And you can tell the difference right away in some of the parts. So um, I'll show you guys real quick. Here's the uh, oil pump itself. And here's the oil pump part number. There are a few guys that have asked me for these part numbers. So I'm gonna just go through them individually. And the oil pump and the baffle is the only thing I didn't buy myself from Honda. And I'm gonna show you guys why I did that. So I got my uh, oil pump from uh, K Power Industries. Uh, reason being is because they sell the oil um, pump with the uh, cutout. So it comes OEM, and as you guys can see right there, it already comes pre-cut and machined, ready to just drop onto a K24. Uh, for me, it's a little bit cleaner. Um, I really don't like to cut into them myself. It just uh, looks like a hack job. I'm not very good. I don't have the right tools. So um, this is the reason why I waited so long. I mean, not so long. It was a little bit extra weight, but uh, well worth it. And not just that. They have uh, probably the best price on the oil pump kit itself. So that's the oil pump. And that's the reason why we waited for it. And they did send the... Uh, hardware you'll need when you get the new kit so here's a part number for the guide the chain guide I am still waiting on the one that uh, puts the tension on the uh, chain uh, the dealership should have it for me Monday which is only a few days from now so um, I will give you guys a part number on that when it gets here then on my uh, tensioner, I took off the uh, part number sticker and I put it on my engine stand. I got lucky to be able to take it off real easy. So that's the part number. Then we got a brand new uh, 50 degree cam gear. I figured since, uh, here's a part number. I figured since I'm doing everything brand new, I might as well just go all the way and do everything brand new all at one time. Um, here's a part number for your oil pump chain guide. Here's a oil pump chain. And make sure guys, it has to be in this like pinkish wrapper. If it's not in this wrapper, it's definitely not authentic. Got us a new timing chain. Here's a part number for the K24 chain. We got our baffle. That's your part number. And then I got some ultra flange. This is a Honda Bond in a, in a can pretty much. So when you press this in and you cut this, well actually it already comes pre-cut. You just put this on there 
and it leaves the trail right exactly where you want it. This thing works wonders. And then we have our cam locking tool. You guys are gonna need this tool if you're gonna do your cam gear and also for your timing. Here's the part number. Very important tool. A lot of guys just use something in the same diameter, but can't go wrong using a OEM Honda part. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I am gonna be doing the oil pump soon. Uh, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. I just kind of wanted to show you guys a video on the parts you guys are gonna be using. A little bit pricey. Um, I've had a lot of guys ask me, did I have the oil pump? And um, why didn't I uh, do the oil pump from the beginning? So the oil pump kit cost as much as this long block. So just to show you guys like the beginning of how to put in an engine swap, it doesn't make any sense for you guys to go spend the kind of money on the oil pump kit and then you're trying to go uh, K-series. So it was just like a learning thing. I was just trying to uh, share what works and what doesn't. And now we're going into the performance side of the engine and um, should perform a lot better. Highly recommend it. Uh, it's a lot safer on the K24 itself and uh, just makes it better. Also, I ordered this part right here. What this little part does is um, it allows you to block off your uh, heat um, passage, which is that black tube that comes back this way and it sits like right here. And then uh, I just didn't like the way it looked when I took out my engine. So I figured I might as well start since we're gonna start making it, uh, doing a few little things here and there and it's out. I figured I'd add this in. Comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think, and I will keep you guys updated on the K24 Civic build.